The prediction is that by 2050, we'll be at about 9 billion people, which is a 40% increase of where we are right now. In the past, we've relied very heavily on petroleum-based resources to increase our food and energy supply. This time around, we, we don't have that luxury as we see dwindling supplies of petroleum reserves. So we're going to have to come up with some alternative solutions that involve the production of renewable energy. Every sector of the world is really challenged to come up with solutions for increasing productivity and yet making that productivity more sustainable than it has in the past. We already have biodiesel processing facilities in the state ready to go. They're waiting for increased supplies of these oilseed crops. Right now, people want to have electric energy to operate cars and airplanes. So now question is, how can we convert this biofuel into clean electrical energy? You can think uh, of fuel cell as a magic box, where as this fuel introduced to this magic box, this magic box will efficiently convert the energies that are in this fuel into electrical energy in one step. At WSU, we have all these core technologies. We have people who try to grow uh, bio crops more efficiently. And also we have people who try to figure out how to convert this biomass to biofuel more efficiently. And there are people like me who try to use this biofuel and create clean electrical power in one step. And by doing so, we believe that we will create more jobs, especially clean technology jobs in the state of Washington. And I know that it will directly impact the life of not only people in Washington state, but also people around the world. And that is very exciting to, to work on every day.